My name is Anthony Labriola. I own the Long Island Puppet Theater. The Long Island Puppet Theater was first established back in 1998 by the previous owners, Roman and Elisa Valdez. It was a puppet theater, a museum, a little bit of something for everybody in here. Uh, we used to have a museum section filled with puppets from all around the world, puppets ranging from hundreds of years old to even some recent productions. I saw my first show here in 1998 for a friend of mine's birthday party. Uh, I was no more than seven years old and I absolutely fell in love with puppetry and theater and from that point on, I kind of told myself that's what I want to do. I guess what I love most about puppets and puppetry is that it's just this world of unbridled fantasy. There's no holding back. The bigger and the more exaggerated you are, the better. And I think kids are more drawn to that because it's fun, it's exciting, and it really works with their imagination and their style of play. Because all it is is just playing and being big and theatrical and entertaining and telling stories that really dig into the imagination. The general experience when people come in and see a show here, it's educational, it's fun. What we try and do is we begin each of our shows with a tour of some of our puppets from around the world and some of our historical puppets. And we get the kids involved, teaching them a little bit about the history of puppets, what kind of different puppets exist. And nine times out of ten, you'll find that the parents are really receptive to that as well, and they're jumping in and guessing the age of puppets and where they come from, uh, what kind of puppets they are. Maybe they've heard of them before, maybe they remind them of a puppet they've seen on TV at some point in time. Um, so we always begin with the educational aspect, and then that quickly delves into the play aspect. We bring out a few different puppets for everyone to interact with. We have puppets who come out and tell jokes. We have puppets that the kids get to work with themselves and see how to manipulate that kind of puppet. And then comes time for the show. They come into the theater room, they sit down, they relax, and they enjoy the story that's unfolding in front of them. But in the back of their minds, I know that as they're watching it, they see the different kinds of puppets that are in the show and they remember from the tour that we had done beforehand, the puppet that they're seeing now is a marionette or a bunraku or a hand puppet. To get somebody in here who's not necessarily interested in puppetry, uh, it's really about convincing them that it's more than just puppetry. It's about the storytelling. It's about viewing storytelling in an art form that isn't really well known. I mean, we're one of the last standing brick and mortar puppet theaters on Long Island and one of very few in the United States. So it really is a one of a kind experience and if for no other reason than to have that experience, this is the best place to do it. <laughs>